Welcome everyone. Happy Thursday. It's Thursday Thursday. afternoon and uh, we are here to answer your questions and take your comments live. I'm John Gary from John Gary TV and uh, just in case you don't know who I am, uh, I am the creator of John Gary TV. I'm also the co-owner of John Gary Fitness and Pilates. I've been in the fitness industry for more than 20 years and in the Pilates industry for just about as long. I uh, train instructors around the world and we have a licensed training center for Stop Pilates here in Long Beach, California. I'm joined today by a special guest, Mike Beecham. Mike is my business partner and my partner. He is also a business expert. And I wanted to have him on the show today because of the topic that we're gonna have. And the topic is a question that we get all the time actually from studio owners and from instructors. And that is how to deal with late clients who late cancel or worse yet, no show. So um, so we're gonna talk about that a li- in a little bit, but I wanted to introduce Mike. Mike, thanks for joining me. Absolutely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, talk about you a little bit, so close your ears. <laughs> but Mike has an MBA and he has was in the uh, corporate world. He was a, a management leader uh, in, uh, for a large corporation for 15 years before he uh, started two businesses, two successful businesses, and uh, we own those together, John Gary Fitness and Pilates, which is a brick and mortar uh, a boutique studio in Long Beach, California, and then John Gary TV, which is uh, our online uh, training, virtual training center for fitness and Pilates. So uh, I'm really super excited to have him here today. Um, this kind of w- went uh, like a little bit out of order. Uh, I, I wanted, we, we both wanted to talk about this topic. Mike has been doing uh, a few of our um, uh, sessions so far. This is number 11 for us, Q&A. Um, and he's done a couple of, uh, of them so far talking about different business sh- issues. And we got a question last week, which was, um, you know, what, what do I do about late cancel? It was a very specific question, which we'll get to in a minute. Actually, we'll get to in a tape. Um, because <laughs> a couple of days ago, I actually interviewed Mike about this topic. I was planning on doing the show the way I normally do it, which is just me, and then introducing the clip. But I felt like this was such a hot topic and such a fun one that I, I wanted Mike to be right here. Normally, he's off to the side monitoring uh, the, the Q&A, but today I wanted him right on set so um, you could actually ask questions directly to us. And uh, so, so do that. Also, let us know. I know that in the past, we've had a little bit of sound issues, not really with my voice because I'm really loud, but Mike it, speaks at a normal volume. <laughs> and so, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> so say something, Mike. Say hello to everybody. Hi, everybody. I will try not to low talk. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't low talk. He just talks in a normal voice. And I talk in a voice that you can probably hear, but even if you turned your computer off. So, um, <laughs> but... Um, do you have an off switch? I don't have an off switch. I have on and then really on. <laughs> um, so if you can hear us loud and clear, hit the like button, let us know, <laughs> or just make a comment. Also, tell us where you're watching from. We'd love to shout out and say hi to you. So uh, cue in there and, and tell us where you're from. How, how are we doing here so far? Do we have Great. any questions or comments? Got or questions anything? about the fun shirt. This is, I wore this today specifically because we're talking about studios. And this is, let me see if, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Is it on the back? I hope it no, is. No, logo. It's not? Oh, the logo. Yeah, the logo is on the back. Uh, that, this is the shirt that we have at our studio, John Gary Fitness and Pilates. And uh, we are all about fun there. I know that some places that you go to work out want to make you throw up and want to make you cry. We want to make you have a really good time while you're working out. We feel that you're going to want to come back a lot more frequently if you're having fun. And so that, that's our motto. motto. It's always been my motto. Fitness should be fun. I love it. Um, and I want to kind of spread that joy to everyone else and our whole team does. Well, guess what? When it's fun, you do it. Exactly. When you do it, you get results. Yeah. When you get results, your friends see it, you, t- you tell your friends about it, and then they come and work out with you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's, and so that's, that's kind of our brand. Uh, that's what we do. I feel like, what, what are those two chipmunks? <laughs> <laughs> from the, <laughs> never mind. From <laughs> there's two cartoon chipmunks. Never mind. Okay. Chip and Dale. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. <laughs> I'll be Chip. I guess I'm Dale. <laughs> <laughs> Only one other choice. Okay, so uh, so we're gonna we're gonna cut in a second 
to, uh, to roll the tape the interview that I actually did with Mike the other day on this topic. So I think this is a really cool topic. Hang with us. If you have questions or comments, we're going to be sitting here watching while you're watching as well, and we'll answer anything online. And then when we come back live, we'll talk to you some more. So Adam, roll tape. All right, well, I'm sitting here. I'm going to have a little chat with Mike Beecham, my hey, partner, well. and he is going to, we are going to talk about how you deal with late cancels. So um, this is an issue we actually get asked about a lot, and we actually just recently got this question. So Mike, yeah. welcome. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks. It's always good to be here. And let, yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Good stuff always, too. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll keep it coming. Keep it coming. All right. So this question was uh, about how you deal. Well, it was a very specific question, but in general, how do you deal with late cancel? So um, you kind of broke this down into three parts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So late cancels and no shows, you know, is, is really part of that. But, you know, the first part is really the theory around why have a late cancel policy at all. You know, it seems like on this on the surface, it could seem like a very customer dissatisfying policy, right? Because we're charging them when they don't actually get a workout. How could we ever do that? That's terrible. <laughs> but really, you know, for their for our customers and for our business, there's a lot. It's a really sound policy. And so, first, for for most of most of our clients, most of our subscribers are work in studios or studio owners typically a smaller environment than maybe a big box gym, but even if they're at a big box gym, there is a finite number of seats in a class. Yeah. Period. There are only so many spots, and especially in a studio environment, a lot of classes are, are pretty small. That's a great thing in terms of being able to get to know our clients, they get a lot of personalized attention, modifications, uh, but it means that once it's full, it's full, and the spots are very valuable. Yeah. Um, so if a spot goes unused, and there was demand for it, it's gone. It's done, that, that left. That class will never happen again. That's right. Ever, in time. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like spoiled fruit, you know? Yeah. The banana's done, it's done. Yep. Yeah. And as far as, as training private clients, it's even, there's, there's only one spot, or you know, semi-private or whatever, but it's just one instructor, and basically it's a, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. So you're booking that hour of time mm -hmm. of your instructors of your time or your instructor's time. And yeah. I mean, in a way that's even, that's even worse because that's your, an hour of your time on this planet yeah. <laughs> that you were waiting around for somebody to show up yeah. who didn't show up yeah. or they canceled and there was nothing else to do except watch John Gary TV. <laughs> good plug. Yes. That was nice. That's good. <laughs> All right. So, so it's important to have the policy. Um, now the probably what everybody's asking is, okay, so how do I implement this? Yeah, that's, that's the thing that you got to get right. So the key thing in terms of implementing this is once you have a policy, you've got to be consistent with it. Don't, don't make exceptions. Don't waive it. In our own business, we, we did. Until 2011, uh, we made exceptions. And people would call, and the front desk, whoever was working, you know, they'd say whatever their reason was they couldn't come in. Then it was up to our poor front desk person <laughs> or instructor, depending how you're set up, to make a judgment call about whose reason for not being there, for not making their commitment, was better. And, and which ones were above the line where they, you know, did get charged, and which ones were, you know, however you want to say that, but which ones were not quite good enough, so they got charged. Yeah. But the excuses that were really good, okay, that's great, you came up with a good one. And, <laughs> you know, it's really not fair to our clients, to all the other clients, it's not fair to the front desk team to throw, to throw that on them and have them be the ultimate deciders about whose excuse for not making the workout is better. Of course, there are a lot of valid reasons why you might not be able to make it, why you might have to cancel. Uh, things happen in life. But the point is, when there's a spot that's reserved, and it's either there's either a no-show or it's canceled within a cancellation time frame, um, it doesn't really matter why, because that spot was held, and now it's going to go empty, yeah. and that ship has sailed. Yep. So the first thing is to be consistent with it. Second is communicate. And maybe that's backwards, right? Yeah. I mean, communicate the policy first and then be consistent. But the, the point is, let your clients know and your potential clients what your policy is 
make it really, really clear. So a lot of times uh, we recommend putting it on your new client paperwork with your waiver, but don't bury it in fine print. Make it really, really clear. They've got to initial it, tell them about it, and then when they book their first class, say, hey, just remember, we've got a 12-hour cancellation policy or a 24-hour cancellation policy. So if you need to cancel, you're, you can cancel, no problem. If you cancel within that policy, you lose the session or we'll charge you whatever the fee is, and, and that's how we do business. So make sure that once you book it, you know you're going to do it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Um, th now, there's also a positive side to this, right? Because yeah. you were saying in the beginning that a lot of people look at this as kind of a negative. Yep. Um, and so, you know, it's tough because some of these people uh, that we're talking about, some of the trainers are the, also the owners. Yep. So they have to tell this person, I'm charging you for the session yeah, sure. and then, you know, train them <laughs> the next time they come in. Uh, and you know, I get it. That's you, you, it's, it's tough. It's tough to manage the money and the session. That's, that's a tough thing, but there's, you can work a positive out of it. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, the whole point when people are doing fitness Pilates is to get results. And if they don't do it, they're not going to get those results. And a trainer is for accountability. That's right. <laughs> so uh, that's a big part of accountability. And I can't tell you how many times people call and they start with, oh, I'm, I'm not going to be able to make it in to class tonight or to my session. Um, so, okay, you know, we're sorry. We won't, we're sorry you can't make it. Um, this is a late cancel because we're within 12 hours. And so often they say, well, I'll, I'll I'll try, you know, I, I don't think I can make it, but I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll try. Sure enough, most of the time they show up, they have a great workout and they leave and they feel great and they're happy they did it. So, yeah. you know, not saying that, that, that they, that their reason was that they didn't feel like working out. They may have had a quote unquote valid excuse, but the incentive to not be charged or not lose that session was important enough for them to maybe rearrange some things or yeah. try harder to get there yeah. and get there. And they got the result. And so in the end, they weren't charged, they got a great workout, and they used the spot they booked. Yeah, and, and our message is make yourself a priority. Yeah. And so if other things got in the way of your workout, yeah. if that's your excuse, then let's rearrange that and make yourself the priority yeah. that you are. Uh, and yeah, so that, that could, that's a good incentive. Um, you know, you were, you were talking too about, like just, just different ways that you can kind of ease the pain, especially when you're first starting a program like this. Absolutely, uh, you know, one thing, one way is to uh, just to, uh, you know, we tip it, if, if your facility has this option, uh, most do have an option where clients can drop in. You don't have to book a spot. If you don't want to be charged a late fee, if you don't want to risk losing a session, don't book in advance. Just show up, call us, call us an hour before, and we'll let you know if there's space or not. If there's space, show up. And if there's still space, that's great. Yeah. You know. So if your schedule is really unpredictable, or your client schedules are really unpredictable, and and they just think they're going to be, they they just can't risk that. They can always drop in. Now they may not be able to ever get into the classes that are the most popular or the best time slots. If they want those, they should book them. Yeah. If they book them and they don't come. <laughs> they should pay. Yeah. You know, it's yeah, simple. Exactly. It's or, simple. you know, if your trainer has a spot open that day and you call in the morning and you can get in with them or her, that's great. Absolutely. But if they're fully booked for the day, then maybe you, maybe that's your, you know, incentive. Okay. I'm going to book the session and I am going to show up. So, yeah. it, you know, it, it, you, you kind of turn the situation around. Yeah. It's, it should be the, uh, the accountability should lie on the client, the person who is coming in to get in shape. So that's, you have to make sure that you set it up yeah. for that. Yeah. And we've heard, you know, some people have actually admitted, I don't like your policy, but I got to say it makes sure that it helps me get here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it helps me get here. I yeah. get it. Um, and then there are some things you can do where once your clients know that this is an established policy, you don't waver, you, you stick by it. Uh, and they felt they feel it a few times. Then if you want to do something for a client, let's say they've you know, referred you, you know, a new client or you're uh, celebrating your business anniversary or, or some event, um, an open house, maybe if they refer people, they can win prizes, raffle stuff. You can have that as a raffle prize, a get out of class free card. Yeah. 
Our clients love those. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, yeah. It's, they, they love those more than they would like a $10 bill. And we charge $10 <laughs> for a no-show, for a late cancel. Sorry, more yeah. for a no-show. <laughs> but it's like, you know, and, and I think we do this also for people who buy a certain level of membership. Yeah. They get, you know, you call them personal days, right, basically. Yeah. So they get a buy once or twice. Um, so if you're just establishing a mm -hmm. program, um, maybe the people that ha have been your clients for a while or everybody that signs yeah. the policy gets, you know, a pass that they can use because, you know, things do come up. It, yeah. Definitely things do come up, but they don't come up every time. So, yeah. yeah. And it's still a finite, a limited amount. Yeah. Right. So for our, our prepaid, one year prepaid members, they get four per, four, four per year. Yeah. One a quarter. Yeah, one a quarter. One every three months. Stuff happens. You know what? Sometimes <laughs> stuff happens and we get it. And we'd rather have you book classes and take the classes you want to take because you show up and you're always there. Yeah, and when something happens, okay. But you're also paying in advance for a whole year of classes. Yeah. 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 So it's a reward. And you can book a year in advance. And so that's the other right. thing about the late cancel policy and no-show policy is it also, depending upon your booking window, we have clients that can book up to 30 days in advance if they're on a month-to-month -month membership up to three months in advance if they have a package with a three month expiration, or up to a year in advance. So we're giving people tons and tons of time to hold on to that spot in that class, and then we're saying in our case, within 12 hours, you know, once we hit the 12 hour mark, that turns into a pumpkin. <laughs> you, 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 you've hit that policy. Yeah. Uh, you've triggered that. But up until 12 hours, you can release it any time. And you know, 12 hours, Some many places have a 24-hour policy. Uh, ours happens to be 12. It used to be 24. But within 12 hours, it's pretty tough for most people to rearrange their schedules and actually use that spot. Yeah. You know, some people may, but we're, you know, probably between the 12 and 24-hour mark is, is where people can actually change their schedules. So yeah. we're willing to take a, a, a little bit of a risk from a business side that we still won't fill that. But it gives our clients as much flexibility as we possibly can. Yeah. 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 That's great. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you've got other things that you do or uh, comments that you want to make on or other questions that you have. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, there was. Well, so, yeah. so and then we did get a specific question about no shows. Yes. Right. No shows, specifically people who no show their first appointment. The first appointment. No <laughs> first show. appointment. So um, in this case, it's somebody who, who has a small studio, mainly private training, you know, semi privates, trios. And the, uh, the new client offer is a free 30-minute private session of Pilates. So um, run your business however you want to run it. I mean, we, every, I'm not going to tell you what's going to be right for you unless you want to consult with me and we figure it out together. Uh, but free means that whoever's getting the free service doesn't necessarily have skin in the game. So we typically recommend that with any kind of first session offer, introductory offer, that, that there's some money involved. And that way, it's more likely that somebody's gonna show up for something that they paid for. Yeah. Um, but the question was, how do you handle this? You know, if they don't show up, and a good process is, is to follow up with them, make sure they're okay, <laughs> that something crazy didn't happen, and, and get them booked again. You know, give them the benefit of the doubt to rebook them one more time. If they, don't, if they follow up after that, if they no show again, then don't proactively rebook them. Yeah. They're not ready. Yeah. They're not ready. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, so what about making the the first um, fee or whatever, if you're not going to, if it's not going to be free, what if you made it for the amount of your late charge so that if they don't show up they're you're covered with, with whatever your late sure. no show policy is or whatever. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah. Do that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. Uh, just an idea, you know, yeah. and that way, uh, and also make it clear to the person when they sign up that of your cancellation policy and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. yeah. And there's yeah. also, you know, if, if there's something that they're paying for, they're more likely to show up. But some people may just be intimidated yeah. it, at all, you know, to come in, especially for something like Pilates where it's weird equipment and, you know, yeah. they don't really know what it is. So having something like a, an open house, you know, where it's, uh, a, you know, maybe once a month or once a quarter, it's a regular open thing and then people can come in. Uh, there's no commitment up front. Right. It's not as scary. It's not as intimidating. Yeah. Uh, or if it's a class-based environment, maybe even in a private environment, have it be something where 
uh, they come with a friend, you know, a, a member, you know, they, if, if, a, if a member, it's a client. great way to get referrals. If a yeah. client wants to bring somebody, then, you know, a benefit to your clients is they could bring a friend for free for their first session. And that way they get the experience and then you can talk to them about your introductory offers. Yeah. You know, cool. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Great stuff. As always. Yep. All right. If you've got other questions for Mike, the business guy, (laughs) maybe that's your new title. (laughs) I need an acronym, though. (laughs) Put them in the comments section. All right, John, back to you. (laughs) All right. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. That's an interview that I did with Mike, who's sitting right here, a couple of days ago. Uh, And then I decided to bring him on because I really thought that uh, having him on set would be great for uh, us to kind of reply to your, your questions and comments. So uh, obviously let us know if we've got any. Um, do we have any? No? Yeah. Okay. Um, so the other thing I wanted to say is if you want to um, no- be notified, because we do this every Thursday, we do a live uh, show every Thursday, a Q&A, and we always pick different topics, just hit the subscribe button on YouTube and you'll be notified then uh, before we're about to go live. Um, and that would be a great way for us to stay in touch with you. Also, you know, even if you're watching this after the broadcast, then um, it, make sure in the comments section that you put whatever questions. That's how we get a lot of our questions. Uh, most people, I think, watch this post uh, and either there or on uh, John Gary TV. We'll also have I'll, I'll post a blog with the YouTube video on it later on uh, today. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Good. Um, so. Uh, also, if you know, if I didn't say this, not just comments or questions, but if you've got another idea of or something that you do that you think works well or that does work well, um, let us know that too, so we can share it with our audience as well. This, this, that policy, those policies seem to work well for us. It took us a while to get there, as we said in the video, but um, they seem to work really well for us. Yeah, they do. They're established. Our clients get it, uh, and we actually uh, have clients who um, will will when they're inviting new, like when they're inviting friends in or referring friends, they'll talk about it and they'll say, you've got to show up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. It's that, part of our culture now. Yeah. And that accountability I think is, is crucial to people uh, getting what they want out of a fitness program uh, or Pilates program. All right. So um, I want to talk a little bit about, uh, about this past weekend. We had our first conference of the year, March conference, and uh, I taught over uh, Saturday and Sunday, I taught six different reformer workshops. It was super fun. And so this past Monday on our live reformer, um, you can check this out on our website, I did a best of March conference workout. So I put together my favorite exercises from all of those workshops. And um, I think there's something on my head. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, so, and so you can check that out. Um, it, was, it was really fun, it was super fun to do. And then yesterday, Yesterday we shot a live, they're all in our library now after we shoot them live, then Adam edits them, I update the notes, they all come with notes uh, that you can download and and take and just teach. It takes the programming aspect out of your life. So um, this is all on JohnGaryTV.com. But yesterday we did a live mat workout and that was an intermediate mat workout with some, I think, really fun variations. You can see a preview of that on YouTube as well uh, as on our site and then you can obviously see the full thing on our site. So guys, um, the other thing I wanted to mention is our next conference. I'm super excited about this because one of your favorite of, of our guests on Q&A is going to be in Long Beach teaching live. So if you want to take workshops in person with me and Melanie Byford Young, she's our special populations correspondent, but more importantly than that, she is the uh, owner, co-owner of Pacific Northwest Pilates in Portland, Oregon. And she's also a master instructor trainer for the rehab program for Stop Pilates. So um, she's, and she's got new workshops. So there's new content. We actually just opened registration today for that. So you can find that information. I'll put a link in the comment section, but you can also find, uh, to sign up, you can go to our website, johngarryfitness.com. 
and just go to the, uh, I think it's the education teacher page, training. teacher training page, and go to the conference page there. Or on John Gary TV, you'll also see it on the Educate Yourself page down at the bottom of upcoming stuff. So I would love to see you here in Long Beach. It's a super fun weekend. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Melanie's teaching Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm only teaching on Saturday. Um, and then we also have Mary Jo Ketterhag and Ida who is a lead instructor trainer for Stop Pilates, and she'll be teaching as well. So there's gonna be a lot of rehab stuff, there's gonna be a lot of athletic conditioning stuff, and other Stop Pilates uh, workshops as well. Some new ones, which is really Can I cool. I Melanie's two workshops? Yes, she's, yes. She's teaching more than two workshops, but there are two workshops that Melanie just created. Uh, they're called, they're under the Therapeutic Pilates title. Uh, one is called Therapeutic Pilates, Restore and Manage Flexibility and Mobility. Three hour workshop on that and the other, or sorry, four hour workshop on that. And then uh, the next day, Therapeutic Pilates, hip replacements on the reformer. Three hour workshop. A lot yeah. of hip replacements out there, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of hip replacements and they've changed. So, you know, she, she, I'm sure she's gonna talk about how, you know, somebody who had a hip replacement years ago uh, is pr probably have, has different limitations than somebody who has a recent hip replacement yeah. because the technology has gotten so much better. So it's cool. And she is just, she's a hoot. She is a ball of energy. Uh, every time I take a workshop from her, I walk away with my head so full, um, but having a great time. So I hope that you will join us for that. That's the first weekend in May. I think it's May 5th through the 7th. Yeah. Um, and uh, it'll be, it's gonna be super fun. Uh, we also have a couple of other workshops coming up. We always do a fall conference in September, and then we do a winter conference in December. And in the fall conference, our guest, we always try to bring in a guest presenter. Our guest presenter for that is Kim Croucher. Uh, and I think Bob Anderson. And Bob Anderson from, Twofer. yeah. So one specializes in core, the other in Zanga and uh, Stop Pilates. Uh, so there'll be a lot of athletic really cool workshops that Bob is doing, actually new workshops out for runners, I think uh, land, uh, sw swimmer, swimming on land kind of yep. work, uh, all, all kinds of really cool stuff coming from that. So check that out. And then uh, in December, we haven't confirmed the workshops yet, but we've confirmed the date. Okay. PJ Eau Claire is gonna join us and she is the fascia queen. She's fascinating. So you want to come. You can see her on the John Gary show. <laughs> you can see her on the John Gary show. Yeah, actually, um, Kim Crouchers and Bob Anderson, we, we um, actually have upcoming John Gary shows with them. That's, uh, uh, that's always free. It's on uh, JohnGaryTV.com and we'll announce as those shows come out. They'll be coming out soon. We're going to release the first one, I think, in a couple of weeks uh, for season three, but you can go and watch season one and season two, see some of your favorite presenters. It's really fun. Uh, we always play a game. I make them play a game no matter who they are. Um, they, they, they're always like, really? And then they're, they love it. They have a great time, and so will you. Okay. All right. Um, also in June, I need to give a shout out to my friends. We always have people viewing from Rio, or from, sorry, from Brazil, and I'm gonna be teaching in Rio at Contrologia. I'm super excited, I was there last year. It's really fun, that's June 9th through the 11th. So, um, even if you're not in Rio, come and join me there. It is a fantastic place, super, super fun. Uh, and then, we're really excited because this year, for the first time as a business, we're gonna be at the PMA, uh, annual meeting, the PMA conference, which is October 25th to 28th, and it's just outside of Palm Springs in Indian Wells, I think it is. Uh, and we're gonna have a booth there for John Gary TV, and I'm also presenting. So I hope to see you guys at some of these events. Let us know if you're gonna be there. I would love to know. I, uh, we're gonna have some really fun things. All three of us are gonna be at this event uh, and work in the booth, and we're gonna have some really fun stuff. It's gonna be why crazy. Are we, why are we bringing Adam? Because <laughs> Adam's fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all about fun. <laughs> all right, guys, so how are we doing there? We're good? Yes? Well, I want to really thank you for tuning in today and watching, and I hope that you'll join us next week. If you've got a topic or a question that you would like us to cover, let us know. I'm really happy to do that. We try, like I said, we try to do something different every week, and I've got some good plans for you for, for next week as well. Oh, I almost forgot. What? Consulting. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So last week we announced, sorry, let me, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll set it up and then I'll hit it to you. Perfect. I'll lob it to you and then you hit it out yeah, of the park. Right. Okay. Gotcha. So last week we announced our contest 
for eight weeks of free consulting, business consulting from Mike. Yeah. And uh, so far we've gotten some really great applications, people who've applied for this. And Mike, why don't you tell them a little bit more about it? Yeah, absolutely. We've got, and the applications are open until Monday. All right, so if you'd like eight weeks of free consulting with me, I've got, as John said earlier, tons of business background, but I'm going through a certified consulting program uh, via MindBody, which is the software we use. So if you use MindBody software, uh, MindBody online software, and you've got a business problem that you wanna, wanna tackle, uh, you've got a challenge, and uh, you, you want some help with that, uh, I'm your man. So send us an email at info at johngarytv.com. Just give me a very brief description of your business. What, what is it a Pilates studio, fitness studio, all the above, uh, classes, appointment based, how long have you been in business, and then what your particular challenge or, or opportunity is, uh, and why you'd want the help. And I'm here to help. It's about an eight week process, uh, and you know we can, we can do a lot. It's really, really beneficial to have somebody from outside of your business help you look at your business because you'll, they will always see different things than you do. Um, I need help with my business. We need help with our business. So I've got <laughs> a business coach. I've used consultants. It's, yeah. it's just super helpful. So if you want the help, send that email to info at johngarytv.com by Monday and we'll choose a winner. Right? And I, yeah, and that's great. And I'm going to put the link to that in the comment section and it will also be in my blog post so that you can, there's still time for you to sign up, but time is running out. So make sure that you put in your application. Um, and thank you to all of you who have so far. Uh, so that's really cool. Thank you, Mike, for doing yeah, that. I think it's super, it. super cool. All right. Well, that is it for us. We're signing off for today. Make sure that you join us tomorrow on Facebook. Uh, I believe it's at one o'clock, but we're still checking with Kelly. I'm going to have a special guest, Kelly Curtis. This is going to be live on our Facebook page for our studio, the place where there's fun, John Gary Fitness and Pilates. So um, sign up or just like that page and you'll get a notifi notification when we go live. And Kelly Curtis is our lead instructor for fitness, for group fitness, and she's gonna be on there with me. I'm super excited. We're gonna be talking, I'm gonna be interviewing her a little bit and we're gonna find out some of the things, some of her favorite formats that she's teaching now. She teaches, she's like an animal. She just teaches and teaches and teaches. And I, yesterday it was so cool because I walked out of my cycle class with my group and we were just a sweaty mess and then a, a bazillion people piled out of her room that had just finished her uh, like a clown car, right? Yeah, her. I think it was her circuit class, yeah. and it was, and they were all like, "Oh my god!" So I can't wait to talk to her tomorrow about that. And you're gonna want to talk to her. You're gonna want to see that as well and ask her some questions. So join us tomorrow. That's Facebook Live, and I'll see you back here next Thursday at one o'clock. All right, everybody, take care. Have Thanks. a great week. Have a great weekend. Have a great day. Bye.